All right. Let's talk about mental health. So, if any of you know me, no know me in person, you will know that I struggle with mental health. I struggle with very bad depression and PTSD. I won't go into depth about those as to why, but just know that I do struggle with them. I've struggled with them all my life. I've tried medications, I've tried therapists, I've tried everything in the book. But two things that have always helped is one, exercise, specifically cardio. Cardio is my safe space. Cardio is where I can go into a completely different world. Just block out everything around me and focus on straight ahead. What's my next destination? It's pretty much what cardio is for me. It's where I can escape everything and just focus on putting one foot in front of the other. Lifting weights helps me, but not as much as cardio. Cardio helps me sweat, and when you sweat, you release those chemicals. Not serotonin, it helps release it when you sweat. And that helps my depression. So, number one, take care of your mental health. Number two, the second thing that helps me is talking to my wife. My wife is an amazing woman and she helps me through everything. She is my rock as I am hers and there is no one else in this world that I'd rather be with. She makes me feel safe. She makes me feel like it's okay that I struggle with this shit. When I have had too much and exercising isn't working, I can just lay my head on her lap and she'll just play with my hair and everything will be okay. Don't even have to talk. Usually we do though. <laughs> yeah, mental health. Super important stuff. It may sound selfish, but in order to take care of your family, you have to take care of yourself. You need to make sure that you're in the right mindset to be a parent, or a husband, or a boyfriend, or a brother, or a son. You gotta take care of yourself first. And then, you can worry about others. That's the biggest challenge for me, because I worry about others more than myself. That's just the way I've always been. That's the way my mama taught me. Selfless. But over time I've had to realize that sometimes I do have to be a little selfish and take that time for myself. That way I'm in the right mindset. That way my depression isn't overtaking me or my PTSD isn't making me curl up into a ball of nothingness. That's why I work out. That's why I work out. Mental health. And two, just to be strong. Not only mentally, but physically. In case anything ever happened to where I have to lift something heavy say like a car or something. I get an adrenaline rush and I'm already big. I'll be able to lift that car if one of my boys are trapped in there, you know? Mental health. Don't joke around with it. Don't say, oh, I, I can just put that off. Nope. Take care of it. You know why? Because it's not only affecting you, 
and it's affecting the people you love as well. They notice. Most of the time, they won't say anything. But they do notice. Don't think they don't. They have eyes. They have ears. They can hear the shift in your voice. They can see the shift in your body language. They're not blind. They're not deaf. And if they are blind or deaf, their other senses are heightened. They'll be able to tell if they know you. And don't feel like you can't reach out. You can't reach out. You know, there's people out there that do it for a living. If you don't feel comfortable talking to your family. Which to me, I, I prefer my family. My family is my rock. I have a kick-ass family. Not everyone can say that, unfortunately. But I'm lucky. I do have a kick-ass family. So, when you're struggling with mental health, find the things that work for you. Find the things that help you balance out your chemicals. Rather, if it's a medication, or therapy, or going to the gym, listening to music, playing music, any of those things. Any of those things will help. Do what works for you. You know, don't feel pressured in trying something that doesn't work for you. Because at the end of the day, you're the only one that knows what works for you and what doesn't work for you. You know, be honest with yourself. You know, there's nothing wrong with struggling with mental health. More people struggle with it than you think. So you're not alone in it. You're definitely not alone in it. You know, don't don't put all that shit inside. Don't lock it in. That's the worst thing you can do. It really is. I know some people try and be all macho and, you know, try and play it off as they're fine. But, you know, you can see it in their eyes that they're not. That they're not fine. That they are struggling. Don't be like them. Alright? Those people, they're miserable on the inside. They try and act happy. They wear that mask of like, hey, I'm happy. But, they're not. The most important thing is your mental health and your happiness. Because if you're happy, and your mental health is good, that means you can focus on, you know, the important stuff, like family, your kids, you know, you can focus on them. You won't be all foggy and all that because you're dealing with a chemical shift in your brain. You'll be able to focus, you'll be able to see clearly, you know? Kind of like uh, that song, I can see clearly now because the rain has passed. Kind of, kind of the same thing, you know? You can't see clearly with all that depression, all that anxiety, you know, anything that you're struggling with mentally, you know? Go get help. And be honest with yourself. Like, if you know medication doesn't work, don't put yourself on medication. If you know exercising works, then do that. Don't be lazy. Don't don't do that. Don't be lazy. Because I know for a fact that you can get to the gym if that's what helps you. But if the gym doesn't help you and medication does, don't be afraid to take that. Let me tell you something. That medication is there to help you. Okay, don't be ashamed of taking medication. Because it's there to help you 
remain happy. All right. Now I know that some people struggle with that self identity when they take medication. You know, and that's me. That that is totally me. I hate taking medication because I struggle with that self identification. So I found a different outlet. Something to where I feel like I can still be myself, but still work on my mental health. And that's exercising, cardio. When I have heavy feelings, I lift heavy stuff. You know? That works for me. Find what works for you and stick to it. Kick yourself in the ass and make sure you do it every day because you're gonna have to do it every day. What happens up here matters, okay? Because what happens up here affects out here, all right? If you're struggling in here and you're all foggy up here, all right, if you're all foggy up in here, you can't focus on what's out here. You have to be aware of what's going on up here. Because you don't have long hair and you don't want to come out of your haze one day and find that your, your children are all grown up and you feel like you missed out because, you know, your, your brain's foggy. You just like, we're there but not there. You can overcome anything if you put your mind to it. Alright, me, I have to do 45 minutes to an hour of cardio and work out for three hours to make sure that my mental health is top notch, to make sure that I'm okay up here because I am not going to miss a damn thing out here. I've got two amazing kids and an amazing wife. And I don't want to miss a moment, not a beat, not a minute. Not an hour, not a day. I want to be here. And you should be too. Because you matter. I matter. Everyone else matters. Stay on that mental health. Work on what works for you. Don't hold it all in. It's not worth it. It's not worth all that stress. All that inner tor turmoil. There's people that are willing and able to help you. If you feel like you can't help yourself. And yes, mental health can make you feel that way. I've been there. I have been there. You know? I felt like I couldn't get out of bed. And I've stayed in bed for hours and hours and hours almost a whole whole day i felt like i couldn't move that's where my wife comes in because she's my rock and she says get your ass out of that bed and go exercise and that's what i need i need that kick in the ass and for others that wouldn't work because i'm I'm different from you, and you're different from me. I need a kick in the ass. I need someone to literally kick me in the ass and say, go exercise, because you're being a, a depressed turd nugget. Do what works for you. Surround yourself with people who care about you, okay? That's what matters. Because you matter, I matter. Everyone matters, and your mental health matters, okay? Don't think it doesn't, because it does. What happens up here matters, okay? All right, you have a good ass day, stay positive, get lean, get mean. If that's what you're into, shred that guitar, play that drum solo, do that kick flip on the skateboard, whatever you're into, go do it. Go fucking do it. Maybe involve your family in that, you know? Do what makes you happy. And maybe involve 
the people that make you happy with it. And win. Now go out there, make me proud, make yourself proud, make your family proud. Go out there and live that life because you don't have long. All right? Go get it. Get it now!